Good afternoon. Welcome to Marty's Fly Tying Bench. Today I'm tying an X Caddis. It's a Craig Matthews pattern. It's usually tied with a dubbed body, but I've added a little twist with a Mirage Pearl Mylar for a body. We've got lots of shiny nymphs that work, so why not a dry fly? Now, I'm tying it in a size 16. Any standard dry fly hook will do. This happens to be a Dairiki 320. The thread's an dot Uni. And the shuck material is Montana Fly Z yarn. This happens to be amber. And out of the little hanks you get off of the bag of yarn, I, I usually divide it down into a half or a third, depending on the size I'm tying here. Just get some shuck on the back. I'll trim that later. My uh, tinsel is Mirage Opal. I use medium on this size and smaller, and I use large on 14s and 12s. It just covers a little faster. I'm saving the very front of the hook for the deer hair wing. So at this point I'm just going to cover the thread with the Mirage. Now, the thread color won't show through Mirage. It's pretty solidly reflective, I guess you'd call it. So I'll just get one layer there. To get the deer hair to uh, spread out, I'm going to get a little dubbing ball here. You can use anything you like. This is a Hairtron, I think. Hairs there work. Super fine would work. Just want to be able to tie a relatively tight ball and leave some hook shank in front. I made a layer of thread on there to help hold the deer hair. Now the deer hair is compared to unsized. I'm going to get a pretty good bundle of this. Now this hair doesn't have much under fur and everything's nice and straight so I'm actually often able to come straight off of the hair and not need to stack it. What I'm going to do is cut this to length before I even tie it in. I'm going to get this thread right up against the ball, set the hair on so that it comes right out to the eye, tighten it up. The successive turns are going to be going through that ball of hair until I'm almost to the breaking point. And a whip finish. You notice that wing doesn't go back very far. This is kind of an emerging caddis, so you don't need to make the wing long like an elk hair caddis, although it works quite well with a longer wing. But I like to tie them about three fourths of the length of the hook shank. So there you have it Matthew's X caddis in pearl.